for the people that don't know me, you know, we did a lot of views on this platform already. So most definitely, I think our couple of interviews creeping up on like half a million views right now at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we going crazy. Now, you know, I don't want to kind of sugarcoat it. We didn't did these interviews before. I didn't see you on other platforms. I kind of want to jump right into it if we can. Yeah, let's get it. Last time I spoke to you, Durkey, it was an issue between you and like some of the guys in Oak Block who you might have grew up with or was around and shit. Yeah. Is this still an issue or have you kind of got past that? Have some of the guys. Hell no, like, it ain't no issue at all because everybody that I really had issues with came and talked to me and let me know what's up. Like, it ain't no issue with all, no beef with nobody from my hood for real. Like, they they let me know what it was and, you know, they ain't, they ain't really got shit to do with shit at all. Right. So you did get an opportunity to speak to people after that happened. Hell yeah. Because I seen you at, like, the Moro again. I say, damn, Dirk, you at the Moro. Hell yeah, yeah, that's, that's, my, that's, my, that's my block. I, you know, I, I'm forever good right there. You know, I, you seen E-Dog was in my vlog, too. He right. came right there. Yeah, like, a lot of people, young and all of them came right there. Young ones right there. A lot of motherfuckers right there. So the same motherfucker y'all see me say a name, y'all see, see me with. Like, ain't no problem with none of them people. Cause them, those people I know for real and grew up with. But it was once upon a time where you went to the internet. Yeah, well, Might have been in your feelings or something. Yeah, like, yeah, feelings, you know. Because being from a hood that you really, really grew up, you know, spent, lived 20, 20 plus years, that type shit, you know, grew up with a motherfucker, you know, that shit, you're, you're getting your feelings. Mm -hmm. sure. You know, the reason why you kind of got into it with Old Block was because of like this chain thing. Yeah. Uh, we talked about in that, that in our past interview. You didn't really talk so much, you know, you were still kind of upset. Yeah, I feel, yeah. Dirk, I want to ask you, did you see this coming or was you really caught off guard? Because there's some people say you seen if, this coming. Dirk. If you see my Cam Capone interview, you, you see, all I, I said up in that motherfucker, it like, ain't no op high move or opera never be touching me. If something happened to me, it's going to be one of my homies or somebody around my homies type shit. So, I, you know, I, I knew if something was going to happen to me, it was going to be like that for sure. Do you mind if I ask? I don't want to kind of open up the wound again, but you know, we never really spoke in depth about that. Yeah. I, is this like a snake back door shit, or these were some of the guys you weren't really fucking with anyway? Nah, this was um, some motherfucker I was fucking with. Like, oh, so you were fucking with? Yeah, in my video type shit, like the ones who was trying to go to the studio, hop in my black trucks type shit. Like, want to be my son, want to be my shooter type shit. <laughs> You know, shit like that, you know, but for sure, the nigga, you know, who did it, I I, I told him what's up. I ain't got no beef with dude. Yeah, I'm, I'm still doing um, everything. I'm traveling, I'm doing everything. I'm still going up everything. He ain't stopped nothing. That's what I want him to know. He ain't stopped nothing because it's only going up from him. But it was once upon a time where you kind of felt like it was size pick doing that shit. Yeah. You know, and then to see E-Dog in your video, your vlog, I thought that was dope. I was screaming when I seen that shit because I thought that was dope. Because it was once upon a time where you felt like E-Dog ain't take up for you. Or am I saying that the wrong way? I, it ain't even take up. It was like, if you know, if you're from my hood, you know, like, what's going on type shit. Like, like motherfucker could have said something, motherfucker could have did some type shit, but... I'm my own man at the end of the day, and, I'm, and I choose this life, so. Right. Last question I want to ask about that. Is this something you said, or was this something you did that made people upset, or a motherfucker was just Blowing too out? fast, blowing too fast. You think I was blowing too fast. Thinking like, my like, niggas been on the block trying to rap, this has been a niggas been trying to rap for a man. It's been niggas on the block rapping 10 plus years and still don't get no views right now to this day. But they like, damn, how he doing it, damn. Like, cause around that time I was doing, I was doing 100K videos back to back, back to back. Yeah. Um, bro, like. You even got signed? Yeah, yeah, like, it was just all happening too quick. Mm. Motherfucker like, man, how the fuck y'all let them come and do all this, you know? So my motherfucker felt like you you really wasn't entitled. Yeah. To, right, I get it. But 
Don't know, I, I lost blood. I was sweating tears on that block. I seen my homie die on that block. Like, I deserve everything that got come from me. That's why God stayed blessing me. Do you, at this point now, as time can pass, do you still claim O Block? Or you like, you dirty yourself? I'm big OB. I ain't gonna lie to you. Mm -hmm. But that don't even mean, you don't, it don't even get, y'all can, y'all can, Make up whatever y'all want to name it or whatever, but I know the meaning of it. You know, it don't mean what everybody think it mean. No, I get you on that. Uh, what about the younger ones? You didn't, have you got a chance to fix that? Because some of the younger ones who was beefing with you on the internet, a lot of them didn't got in trouble. Some are locked up. You know, some not around anymore. Have you fixed your issue with them? I talk, I, like, I talked to some of them, I talked to, yeah, I talked to really a lot, real, most of them for real. Because right. a lot of them was really, my little, little guy I watched grow up for real, like, so I talked to a lot of them, ain't no beef with them. You know, them, those my little shorties, like, little bad kids throwing rocks and shit, like, get y'all a little bad ass on the game, like, I ain't even got no, ain't got no beef with no shorties, because I'm on a whole different level, I ain't even gonna lie to you, gang. I get it, I get it. It seemed like you took the music shit more serious, though, after a lot of this shit. Yeah, yeah, I took it way, way more. Right. Right. All the way in. And the crazy part, though, is after all this shit happened, I seen a lot of people still in your comments. Yeah, you know? yeah. I see bruh bruh in your comments. I see a lot of old block people. It was people still fucking with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. I still fuck with I, I still fuck with a lot of people. Mm -hmm. I still fuck with a lot, a lot of people. Folks be playing my music on IG, all type of shit. Well, I fuck with a lot of people. It ain't, everybody ain't fake. Mm. Dirky, I got a good question to ask you. Now, I don't know if this police -y, man. You know, but this is the question I'm going to ask you without being police -y. People don't talk about this. You know, I can ask people this. A lot of old black guys, some of them don't talk about it. Some have talked about it. Why don't nobody ever speak on a -Roy? Because it's, you know... If you're from the street, you got to leave shit in the street. and ain't nothing to talk about. That's one of them situations. Yeah. If you're from the street, ain't nothing to talk about. Right. You know, because that video went viral. I don't want to sing on that, but that separation. Yeah, the video too. went viral, but we don't know who we who on that video. Right. That's how, you know, we don't know who on that video. Was you cool with Big P? Yeah, yeah, I fucked with Big P. Yeah, yeah. You know, he kind of went wild, you know, on the internet. Things he was going through, he actually let the world in. He was recording some of this shit and putting it on the internet so we can see. Yeah. Do you know where Big Pete Man was at? Shit. Anybody, shit, what, anybody man to be at shit, if you just lose your brother, shit. Anybody man to be, you know, fucked up. Motherfuckers traumatized. You, you lost your brother, shit. You was watching that shit from the internet too, like everybody else is watching. Hell yeah. You still are you surprised? Right. Are you surprised that people still is attracted to the neighborhood you grew up in? Hell after no. all these years? Hell no. Cause I knew how Sosa started, how Sosa made it. Then another month, then when Vaughn did, it was over with. Well, Sosa and Vaughn are real good friends. Cause I didn't yeah. really, yeah. yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, you it's, it's songs when Sosa was first rapping and he saying Von name, man. Like when he Mohawk Sosa and no dreads, you know? Right. Like, cause I knew I knew Sosa from the beginning. I moved I moved on my block when I was two years old. Oh, Sam, so you were baby out there. Hell yeah, I moved on my block when I was two years old. Ain't mm -hmm. moved out to my junior year of high school. Going to my junior year of high school. Nobody was rapping for Sosa. He was the first rapper. No, nah, nobody wanna no, nah, you're so so. Did y'all believe in him when he was doing that shit in the beginning or this was like Yeah, you know? yeah, cause I ain't gonna lie. Everybody had this shit on tag, Facebook, MySpace, all that shit. When that shit was back, everybody Wait had a minute, something. you say on my, he was famous before the YouTube Hell shit? yeah, man. On that MySpace shit, tag, motherfuckers had the music already on on that shit. Hell oh, yeah. Man. We was already bumping this shit like the block definitely was bumping this shit. Where that rumor come from that he was killed? The police shot him. I seen that on the internet. That's what you know. Happened? That's because he when he um you know went through that little shit with the police. That's what that's what that shit came. I was in school literally that day, like with his sister when she got the call and shit. I'm like, damn. 
Social Security put a gun on the police, so they hiked that up. Yeah, I, don't, that I, don't need, I want that, so I don't even know. I can even tell you. I want that, but. But you did hear the rumors that yeah, Sosa was dead. And then back from the dead came out, that just blew him all the way up because people thought he was gone. I, I had that tape. I had that tape when it first came out. Like, before it came out, saying with him, I should have <laughs> saved that motherfucker. Um, bro, not, not knowing bro to be big, big how he is now. Right. Like, I had the tape with him saying like a, a real CD, like CD, you know, bro. He used to just be in the hood and shit. Hell yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. A lot of people say that. Um, you know, a lot of people talked about Bond death. That's years ago. I don't want to talk about that, but I do want to ask you one question about that. You know, I kind of want to let that stay in the past with that, you know, but you did have some strong lyrics in a song that you dropped. You kind of said people ran on King Bond the day he lost his life in Atlanta. You know, that's another, that's another one of them. What's understood ain't got to be explained. And, and people, every, the real saying shit for real. So I just, I was just being the real now. I'm just saying just some shit that a lot of niggas want to say. Cause you know, at, at that time and moment, I, I wasn't fucking with nobody. At that time, I was just in everybody, everybody versus me mode, right. bro. Did you get a lot of DMs after you dropped that song? A lot of people didn't yeah, get DMs, threats, all kind of nah, shit. Nah, nah. It was people like in the comments and shit, blogs like, damn, give him a month, he gonna be dead. Give him, give him two months, he gonna be dead. Give, give him, give him, give him a week, he gonna be dead, bro. I'm still here, bro. <laughs> I'm still here. Oh, bro. I'm still here, gang. I'm still doing me, doing what I doing what I want to do. You know, I did. I did an interview with Trap Lord. We finna do. I we got got some shit coming up with him. Oh, with the legendary Trap Lord. Yeah, I did some shit with. Yeah, I was telling him how I feel about all him doing all them documentaries and shit with. Cause he had you on one with arguments with Ki on that. Yeah, that's why I, I had to talk to him about that shit. <laughs> but. I just told him, like, since you're doing all that, you benefiting off the block. Just come back and get back to the block. So we gonna, he going to come back and get back to the block. We're going to do a whole little vlog and everything. Uh, him coming to the city, you know, I wanna make sure he's like secure. That. That's safe, I'm make sure he gonna be, No, I'm going to make sure he's he secured it up, everything. He's going to be safe. So he's going to be safe for sure. We already, we planning this shit, getting in the works. I think that's safe. Dope. I think that'd be dope because, you know, a lot of people want to see him. He does blogs about that area. So. For sure. Then he say, after once we do, he come here, we gonna, he going to take me to UK and see. She got oh, that oh, yeah. So, he going to go to the UK. Hell yeah, yeah. No, I think yeah, that's yeah. fire. No, I think that's dope as hell. Yeah. You know, you said people was in your DM and shit, you know. Uh, do you mind if I ask? You know, you say what well, don't need to be explained. No, you know, don't yeah. need to be talked about. Yeah, everybody that. seen them. Right. So you're not talking about everybody. No, nah, no, nah, I ain't talking about everybody. It's, it was, I said, it was some real stand up people out right there. Real stand up. I said, I said a couple of stand up people up in the song too. Right. You said Mubak was a stand up guy. Uh, yeah, and Louie. I said Louie Wop and Mark. Louie Wop and Mark. I'm not sure who Mark is. But mm. like, everybody don't know exactly who these everybody is. Right? Mark is slutty, man. Okay. Oh, see, right, see, all right, we got you know these Mark guys is, in real sure. life, so we just know the nickname. Yeah, that's so. I'll show you how we be fanned out because we don't even be really knowing what's going on. Okay, now when you said that, now this what I want to ask you. Ain't it hard to like, you know? I ain't gonna lie, I, I really, I really, I really shouldn't say that shit for real. Right. But. At that, I, like I said, at that time it was me versus everybody, and I ain't really getting no fuck. And you know, cause niggas ain't really. I felt like niggas ain't give a fuck about me, you know. No, but I, 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 I still fuck with people. The niggas that I that that, that did, some of them I still, you know, I still fuck with. Right. Time then flew. A lot of shit then kind of got into perspective, and I totally get that. Um. You know, FBG Duck O Block case. I didn't ask everybody that. I told myself I was going to leave some of these questions in the past. It's time to, to go to the future, you know? But a lot of those guys on Duck Case, you knew a lot of those guys. Yeah. Do you feel like you could be a target? 
do you feel like you got to move different because the world know your friends and stuff like that? The world know my friends. Um, like, we always been known. Like, I ain't going to lie, we always been known. Everywhere we go, we been known. Like, we couldn't even go to Washington Park and hoop without me. Oh, yeah, that's shorty them from, you know. Like, they, we already, we all, we couldn't go to the swimming pool without seeing, you know, you know. Oh, bro, we always, motherfuckers always knew her. So. But you know, duct tape been all over the news. Yeah, been, it been everywhere. News, we just got to move how you, how you, how you move. And, you know, you got to move how you move. Shit happen every day. You hear yeah, shit, shit happen every way. What's every that day, day, guy? Every, shit happen every, every day. day, every hood. Mm -hmm. Every day, every hood, every time all over the For sure. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. What's your thoughts on that, dog? Was you upset when they was convicted? Do you feel like they innocent? Or do you like, hey, things happen? Like, you know? I really, I really ain't, I really can't even say, I ain't, I swear to God, I really can't, it can't sit in my head that the shit for really true for real. Like, the shit happened to, because at the end of the day, these, these are some niggas I, some, some niggas I really grew up with. Like, mm -hmm. seen cry type shit, and you no. Know, it's a different. I ain't. I ain't really believe in that shit. It ain't really sit in on me yet. Right. Like, Cause I don't want to believe it. And I, I still feel like bro, them got an opportunity to get up out of that situation. So you, you know? believe the appeals and things like that? Yeah, bro. I believe bro, them gonna get out there. It's gonna. They they gonna get out that situation. Cause I cause I know what God really got in store. Was you an old block when the feds came through there and was picking people up? Did you see any of that? Going on? Or? Nah, nah, nah. I ain't, I seen, I seen some little shit, but not really for real. Did that kind of tear y'all neighborhood down, you know? Because I kind of see a lot of separation now in Oakland. Seem like you got the shorties, you got the grown ups. Nah, nah. Hell yeah, no, nah, I've been, I've always, like always been like that, though. Oakland really is a family, though. It, it, it everybody, even, it ain't, it's, it's a family. It's not even, it's a family. yeah, we all who we all. It's, it's a block, all, like, like, had, like the past, it's a, it's a block full of opportunities. That's really what Big O B stands for. What big you opportunity. Mean, what you big mean? opportunity. Like, you see, it's so many stars coming from, from that one block. Mm -hmm. It's a block of opportunity. Like you blowing, you you born on this block. You from this block. You got a chance to make it out. They like Vine gave us hope. Cheap Sosa gave us hope. Dirk gave us hope. Shit, it's our so time. support for Dirk and the hope. Yeah, yeah, folks gave us. Man, mm -hmm. gave us hope. I, I met Dirk my first time. Me and Dirk. It was like a long time ago. Folks was getting chased or some shit. Like. He was getting what? He was supposed to be getting chased or some shit. He had to run in my crib and call, make a phone call type of shit. Hey, wait a minute, hold up. Oh, you trying to put him? Oh, you trying to put him out and all type of shit? I'm, damn, smirk. I right, hey, folks don't even smirk. His folks had the haircut at the time. Right. So okay. he wasn't famous at that moment. Now nah, he was famous. That's one about when he made right here and all that. Oh, shit. so he had some crowd. Here he is. That's, I'm, 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 I'm OG trying to kick him out. I'm OG, that's that's look dirty. You trying to kick him out? Damn. She ain't, cause she know she, you know, she, she like, I ain't getting put out for no motherfucker. Right. Um, bro, my OG was on that type time. So Dirk, he running and shit like this. <laughs> bro, they, they, my um, cousin said she, he was hiding under the car some shit when she found him. She brought him to my house. Um, bro, my OG like, why you bring him to our house? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> right. Dang, hell yeah, yeah, but that was my first time meeting him that day. He knew your name was Dirky? Hell no. Nah. <laughs> hell no. <nah. laughs> right. Hell nah, he he fuck around and see me like down there. You was that shorty. I remember that day, him bro. Right. Where you get the dirty from? Is that from dirt? Nah, it was like some street shit. Like I was on the low end with my cousin type shit, and we was man. I ain't gonna lie, we was bad as hell down there. So he folks just start calling me. It's and people and them just start calling me Dirky and Dirky and I just took it and ran with it. Cause you got that harmonized voice. Yeah, yeah. Right, I figured that's what they. And I just from. took it, took it and ran yeah. with it. But you didn't know Dirk when he ran in out. Hell yeah, now I ain't knew him like. But you knew him. I knew him. Right. I seen him, but I ain't never had like face to face contact with him type shit. The police come to your house? Hell no. All right. He Hell no. Nah. Hell yeah, my OG let him make a call. Right. He got up out of there. Shout out, Mama Dirky. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Sure. You got in a fight with Mubah. Hell yeah, like, 
That was my dog, dog. Like, hell yeah. Like, me and bro right here got in a fight. Oh, yeah. No, <laughs> okay. bro. No, bro. Okay. No. Okay. Everybody got in a fight. Bro. Right. Yeah, bro. Yeah. What you're saying? Oh, it's a real shit game. Like, like I see my friend. We fight. Oh, bro. We young as hell fighting. Oh, okay, God. We young as hell, bro. But y'all get over that shit. Hell yeah. yeah get over that shit. Next time, man. Play it the next day. The next five minutes, motherfucker. Next five minutes, motherfucker. Right back. Yeah, that's my dog, though. Show that was my dog. Yeah, my dog. Growing up, I remember you told me that you and Moo got in a fight. Somebody took y'all in the back and let y'all fight this shit. No, we was like in the park type shit, but all the big ass type shit like like C Murder and um who was that Sharad and shit was right there type shit. Mm -hmm. A lot of guys like that. Like I don't get that animosity. Yeah, yeah. yeah let let little bro know fight. Yeah. <laughs> okay. No jumping, no nothing, y'all just go over there. Nah, no, I ain't no That's jumping here, man. No, never, no jumping type shit. Unless you wanna fuck with you. Right. Wait a minute, you just said Sharad. Yeah, yeah. I hear that name a lot. Yeah, yeah. That's the. I that. seen Sharad before he died. Oh, you did? Um, bro, I was just coming from the pizza store. We had a pizza store called Slicely Pizza. I heard Slicely, of that Sicily Pizza. Slicely Pizza, right. um, bro. Okay. Slicely pizza, um, bro. okay. I was just getting me a motherfucking piece of coming from that seeing Sharad. He was talking to a motherfucker on the phone. Right. Oh, damn. damn. I hear, I, I wake up, Sharad is that damn. We, you know, I'm oh, damn. I just literally walked past him. Was you surprised that years later his name would be showing up in songs and shit? Some in a disrespectful way, some in a good way? Um, I don't really get how. You, how people disrespect him for real. Like, what do you mean by that? Folks like, right. folks was, he wanted that type, 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 type of shit. He want that type, type of shit. Right. He was like, go to school, folks and education. Folks like, quiet type shit. Right. But you know, you ain't never, you ain't never seen none with no Sherrod, out this and no officer type of shit. You ain't never seen shit, you ain't never seen, that right. type of shit, but yeah. you know, hey, it is what it is. Cause other motherfuckers get this, motherfuckers gonna get this. You know, he was just like an innocent person. No, nah, folks, folks, I ain't gonna say innocent, but, but he didn't you know, deserve what happened to him. Hell no, nah. right? Not really. None of my homies did for real. This was like in the area over there by Old Block too, wasn't it? Hell yeah, it happened right across the street, right? So, um, by the Swiss Suite, the, the stove right. called Swiss Suite. <laughs> Is it, did they get to a point where y'all guys wanted to just stop coming out them gates? Cause I hear a lot of stuff about them gates. Yeah, Why do you come out them gates and shit like that? Yeah, no. Cause that's how, that's where we from shit. There got seen videos of guys acting like they in front of the gates waiting for y'all to come out and shit. I didn't see videos like that. How do you go to the store? Is this like send people to the store? You sneak nah, to the really store? Nah, we walk to the store. You walk to the store, baby. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we walk to the store. We that store they got that motor on? Yeah, we go to that's my that's huh? that's my I I've been to that store for twenty years, bro. Twenty and you years. In there by yourself? They don't know that store. I knew him for twenty years since I was a kid. You not afraid one of them? Hell no, nah, like that's 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 normal. That's the normal to me. Like that's normal. I went to that store so many times. Why do the internet so make it seem like you shouldn't walk to that store? Cause they don't. They not from that for real. They just hear what everybody say. Like they ain't from. If you not from that, you don't supposed to go to that store. Right. So what if you're an innocent person? Because I've seen no, somebody get robbed people, in front of that Innocent moral. people good. Innocent people good. But I've seen somebody get robbed in front I of that I've seen that video too. But that, you know, it be, everybody don't have. That's a different type of scenario too, though. Okay. Yeah, I would say, the, the, it be, be broken. You can't stand right there on smoke. Smoking the blunt, yeah, like, in front of one, like you, like you, like you, you, you just, you just over, you over, like you over yeah, to. Man, that shit, you just check in, bro. You don't do that shit respect. like that. Mm -hmm. Check in with your people. It's, like I said, it's Chicago. You gotta check in just to take a pick by the morning. No, I'm saying, now nah, we wanna get a little pick. Hey. Take your pick and keep it moving. Bro. Keep it moving. Don't get to filming no videos and doing none of that shit right there. Just take your pick, keep it moving. Mm -hmm. Cause you think about it, it more, think about it. The shoes on another foot. And you want finna, you ain't gonna let nobody just come to your hood and just, you know. No, I totally understand. Sit down, smoke a blunt. Sit down, smoke a blunt by your homie. Um, nah, go on head on, bro. You said across the street. You know, what you saying across the street kind of make me want to ask you this. 
You know, something went trending on the internet years ago about something that allegedly happened across the street from Oak Block. A NBA superstar, Dwayne Wade, they say his niece actually lost her life across the street from Oak Block. Is that true? Um, um, I don't really know too much on that. I ain't even gonna lie to you. You don't really kind of recall none of that? Uh -huh. okay. I seen that on the internet, though. Uh, I figured to ask you, but I, it says a long time ago and shit like that. Um, so what's going on with the music shit, bro? Is this something you're doing now? I see you've been in New York. You're doing all kind of, you know, yeah. features with people. Dirty in that mode now? I'm in that big mode. <laughs> I'm, in, I'm in that big mode right now. Okay. I'm traveling there. I'm trying to go somewhere every month. I got Detroit coming up. Some more shit coming up. Oh, so you're trying to go to different cities yeah, and yeah. spread I'm the network, shit? Network, doing, doing my thing. How did so, you find yourself in New York? The second home of drill. Shit, me and phone now. <laughs> we was on the vacation. Vacation, shit. We turned it to a business shit. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I always got every city, like every city. I'm Atlanta. I got a lot of people. I got, I got people in damn near every city for real. You was working in New York though. I seen yeah, you yeah, working with one of the hot artists out there and shit yeah, too. Yeah. What's going on with them? Yeah, man, bro, finna drop. We got like two, three songs. We finna drop. Okay. What's bro name again? G Skino. You know? Yeah, G Skino. For sure. So y'all got some shit finna come out. That's just a single. or Y'all got a whole project or something like that. No, we got that's a single. Okay. But we working on some more shit though. That's supposed to Mister P pushing on Vlad. You know, bro. <laughs> right. <laughs> he called us to push shit on Vlad. Uh i sure oh, seen that Vlad interview that kind of spoke on him and things like that. For sure. So that's a New York connection. You fucking with New York. You yeah, respect yeah. the drill shit out there? From, from, from Jersey. Trent. Trent from Jersey. Yeah, it's Jersey. Trent. Okay. So the drill out there too? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That shit everywhere. He definitely, he, in, his, in his part, he definitely known like a motherfucker. Train. We on the train, motherfucker. Like, damn, you know, G Skino. Ooh, I'm right. yeah, I'm down. Oh, I just did a feature with him. I, I, just, I literally just shot a video with him. Oh, that's fire. I got a couple more questions for you, Dirk. I ain't gonna wait too long. Got a couple more questions for you. Um, you told me before you don't consider nobody an official member if you haven't shook OD in. Do you still stand for that? Mm -mm. I can't say that because it's a new generation. Right. It's a new generation, but. I just, certain people, like certain people shouldn't be saying and doing the same shit if they don't, you know? Right. You never met them. That's, yeah. what, that's really what I mean by that. This is a new generation. They got their own little homies and shit now, you know? Yeah. And everybody got their own little homies too. I really got my, I got my own shit. I'm, I'm, doing, I'm pushing my own shit. I'm Chino Crowd. Like, Chino Crowd. Yeah, that's, that's my own label, bro. You knew him too, didn't you? Man, that was my dog. Right. A lot of people don't speak on him a lot. That's, it seemed like his death touchy. That was definitely my dog. Right. He was young too. Yeah, yeah. Do you want any like, of these my, That's like, like one of my first, first, like, friends, friends, like, to that. Oh, so it's like one of the first bosses you hit not uh, not no older guy type shit like right. a nigga like a, my know. age I was around. Right. Don't they give you PTSD? Fuck up your mental one dealing with shit like that. One one that shit really fucked me up because I couldn't do nothing around that time. Like when Chino died, I was in the hospital. I, I just got shot. I couldn't even walk or none of that shit. Like when Chino died, I just got shot. I'm getting a call that Chino died. I'm in the hospital. I'm texting. I'm in the hospital. Uh, here, yeah, I'm, I'm. I'm texting WAP. I'm texting. I'm texting Moo WAP. I'm texting DQ. I'm texting anybody I know, like around my crowd. Like, what the fuck is going on? What? Like, what? Like, what? They, they motherfuckers, let me know. Like, woo, 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 and um, what? Um, man, I can't even do shit. I can't go back to the hood because I just got shot on the motherfucking low end type shit. Oh, so you on the low end? Yeah, I got. Shot. I got shot on the low end. You got an argument with somebody, riding pigs? No, like a shoot, shootout type shit. A shootout? Yeah, yeah, a shootout type shit. You spotted the enemy, enemy spotted you? And spotted, in, spotted the enemy, say spotted me, back and forth type shit. Shit like that. Was you shocked, unaware, or you seen to coming? No, I seen to coming. I seen to coming. Couldn't get out that gym fast enough? Yes, yeah. What uh, would you hear that? 
I got hit, I got hit like in my back type shit. Like the bullet still stuck in my spine type shit. Oh, you got fragments. Yeah, yeah. You feel them? Not really. Right. I don't really be feeling that shit. Okay, when you get shot, because I asked you this last time. You told me you were shot. We talked about it 15 seconds and we were doing with that. Multiple shots? No, I got one. One, one shot? One. Yeah. You was conscious? Hell yeah. Did you think you was going to die? I know that might sound stupid. Did you? Yeah, yeah, I think I hear it. Yeah. Um, I, I, Lily, this is what I'm thinking in my head. I'm, talk, I'm like, God. I'm like, damn, God, just give me this one more time. God, please, <laughs> just give me this one more chance. I'm going to. I don't want to say fuck the streets, I'm gonna find something to really get into, you know? And shit, he saved me shit, cause I ain't gonna lie, that's like, damn, I'm lucky, you lucky as hell, boy. Mm. You lucky the bullet got stuck, how I got it stuck and shit, you know? Like, they be really like, yeah, you real lucky, you know, bro. Hell yeah. Did it take a long time to get back right? Hell no, nah, that's what, that's what surprised everybody, cause as soon as that shit happened, as soon as I was in the wheelchair, I'm like, nah, I can't, I ain't. My head, I'm, man, I'm not selling for this shot. I'm breaking out. I'm climbing up the stairs, everything, bro. I'm, I'm not <laughs> right. finna be in no motherfucking wheelchair. That shit over with. Right. I'm finna, I'm doing everything, moving. OG, soon, soon as I was able to stand on my walker, I sold my wheelchair. My OG yeah. mad as hell. See, why would you say, I'm, bro, I put that bitch right on Facebook market. So, right. um, man, I'm not finna be in no wheelchair. That shit over with. Right. I think they end up being a good idea, so, you know. Uh, that's crazy though that you went through that shit though. Hell yeah, hell. Yeah. Did no. you go to therapy? Or yeah, you yeah, yeah. I'm a, I'm a therapy too. Mm. Hell yeah. That's a lot to go through. He was the only person here. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. That's crazy though. A lot of people go through this shit, man, and I, I think it's a lot of mental health issues out here. Shit, you think so? Hell yeah. Mm. Well, a lot of motherfuckers go through a lot of shit, bro. Man. I ain't gonna lie, Dirty. You know, growing up, I didn't lose friends to violence. You know. So I'm surprised, you know, when I see a young man that lost so many Like that, That's how I knew, like, the city got so crazy, like, because my mama, she was a motherfucker that never want to leave the city type shit. Right. She, so big, not leaving the city. I don't want to go to Atlanta. I don't want right. to go here. I don't want to go home. My mom just came up to me the other day, say, I'm done with this city. I, I, can't, <laughs> raise, I can't raise no kids in this city. Um, I'm finna move to Atlanta. Oh, she wanna go to the A. I say, I say shit. You see why it happened while your friends, shit, that move out of town, shit, they can go up, shit. It's only up, shit. Mm -hmm. Just make the move right for you. Type you shit. should go too, Dirty. Oh, yeah, I'm already, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm already out this bitch for real. Yeah. One foot in, one foot out. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I'm already, right. I ain't gonna lie to you. I think when you go to Atlanta, I think they gonna see you and I think you gonna be bigger than life. I Hell think. yeah. yeah. Um, two more questions for you, Dirty. You had a relationship with THF too. Yeah. You say that in your blogs. I see you with a lot of members. You got songs with THF. Yeah, yeah. Dirty, I don't want this to come out crazy, but I gotta ask you this. Any thoughts about TP? You know, I seen the video of him. I didn't want to look at it, but people post it like that on social media. I don't post people last moments on social I media. Look, I ain't really got nothing too much to say about that, but you know, I just say, ain't no, I guess. It ain't like how it was back in the day. Okay, you gotta like, break that down to me. It used to be rules and a lot of shit, I guess. There ain't no rules no more. That just show you how you gotta move. Like, I don't even move no around like with my son for real like that. Just cause I know that in like, in a wrong motherfucker see me, what can happen type shit. I'll be reading about that, so. That just show you ain't no rules in the shit for real. Damn, ain't no rules shit took out, huh? Yo, it shit water down. The streets water down. What happened to the streets? I mean, it always been fucked up, but I just see now it ain't like nobody don't honor How you anything. doing interviews and you told, nigga? How you doing? That's some new shit I got coming out. Oh, bro. Okay. That's like, it's these rats, man. That's what got the streets wilded. Oh, bro, these fucking rats. Last question. How the fuck you doing interviews and you told? Big Mike, you got any opinions on Big Mike? No, I ain't got no, I ain't got none at all, at all. <laughs> I don't have nothing at all. Oh. All I gotta do is new music coming, y'all. You, you gonna know my opinion about? Yeah, he don't know. You got, you gonna know my opinion about all my songs, bro. Right. That's how you gonna know my opinion. I ain't gonna lie to you. I can't even. I ain't, I ain't even gonna go to that direction. Right. 
I feel you. I ain't gonna answer. I might wanna sneak this one in so people don't honor him in the old no more. Shit, we ain't, I don't know. Who is him? I don't know him. I know him, but shit, I don't, I don't know. So you know him, big guy? I'm saying I don't know him. I, I saw him when I was a straight growing up, you feel me? Right. You no, know, you sent, I sent him, you, I don't you know. Ain't gonna get me wrong. You, he, he was in that bitch, I don't know. I, I went to school with his little brother, though. Like I'm saying, I, I, I know, I know, I heard him. I'm school. I heard him. I heard him for sure. But he is from the old though. I'm saying like, yeah, he, 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 I, I, I'm gonna say like he was in that bitch. He's in that bitch. Yeah, I'm gonna say like he was in that bitch. He's in that bitch. But I'll let you. I, 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 that's nice. No, I don't got nothing to say about. I, I, I know him though. You feel me? I get you. I get you. Come on, my phone. Most definitely. He on the way. Any opinions on Kevin before we get up out of here? Um. <laughs> hey, hey, I get it. Um. I say, how you doing in the views and you told? How you doing in the? <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh, fuck, uh, don't that. That's don't you? That. Yeah. Oh, that shit don't hard. That. Oh, that's hard. Oh, that's hard. Oh, oh, what's your social that, media, bro? Where we gonna find you? Everything. One Durky on IG, man. Just Durky on YouTube, man. Run my YouTube up. Give me the 10K subscribers. Let's go. Uh, Durky, last thing I want to ask you, Durky, you got an opinion on young people? You know, somebody coming to Chicago recently, news broke that Bam Man Calvo, 15 year old son, lost his life out here. Yeah, that's and, that. RIP Bam Man Calvo. I had conversations with him before and shit. Okay. Any opinions for a young man out here? Stay out the streets. Be yourself. Um, bro, <laughs> stay out the street. Leave the streets alone. Ain't that, but what you got a bunch of young guys, a bunch of homies telling you to do shit. How do you get out the influence and shit? See, be you. I always think about you. You know, be you. Be you, man. Yeah, just be you. For sure. Just be yourself. Just be yourself. Oh, like, be yourself, get you, you know? Stay out the way. If you ain't got to be in the streets, you don't be in the streets. If you in the bird, stay in your ass in the bird. Okay. Most definitely. What's the social media one more time, Durky? One Durky, man, on IG, man. Okay. Durky on YouTube. Give me the 10K subscribers. Uh -huh. I'm almost there. Uh -huh. What's social media, big guy? Oh, good. Okay, most definitely. Y'all be Good's safe. Folks, no name. Uh -huh.